Greetings, bookworms of Concord. Pastor Beckett here. I know it's been two months since my last video. Um, there's been a lot that's been going on in my personal life, which I will not cover in this video um, for particular reasons. Not, not, uh, not so much for privacy's sake, but um, they're pretty complicated reasons. But and but one of the other reasons was also because no, I, nobody's really watching my channel, so why should I bother making content? I, I've never really been in this for um, the money, uh, or and not so much the views either, but at the same time, if nobody's watching, why bother making it? But then I was like, well, you know what, who cares? <laughs> I remember that I, I've been doing this for me, um, and there are a significant few of you who have and enjoyed what I've put out, so I figured, you know, why the heck not? So, things have... Um, quieted down a, a little in my life where I feel comfortable starting this up again. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know what that personal stuff uh, is about. And maybe I'll, I'll have a video in the future about what all that is. <clears throat> Not entirely sure about that. Um, even so, it'd be a long time from now. But anyway, so my last video was a review on Halo Oblivion. And if you've been watching my videos, um, you will remember that I've been reading through all the Halo books starting from the beginning. Um, well, the, the beginning chronologically, not by publishing date. Uh, and so that means I started with the Forerunner Saga by Greg Bear. Uh, some of these I've been reading for the second or third time. Um, and some of them are new. Um, because with schooling, you know, I, be, I was in school for eight years to become a pastor, and that put me far behind on a lot of books, especially Halo, as well as James Patterson's uh, uh, Women's Murder Club series and his Alex Cross series. But uh, anyway, so um, there, I've read quite a few books um, since uh, you know the the two months that I uh, two months ago that I of my last video. Um, so I think I'll just start where I left off reading wise until I get to the point where I start uh, re reviewing books that I've you know, already read uh, quite a while ago. Like I, like one of my goals is to uh, put my reviews up of A Song of Ice and Fire. I've I read all those uh, last year, uh, the beginning of last year, um, I want to. So I want to get to those, but before those, I do want to review the ones that I've um, more recently read. So that being said, this review, um, I'll be reviewing Halo: The Flood, uh, and this is the um, original publishing. There are you, when you when you look for this in the stores today. Um, you will find a copy of the edition of this that's um, a little uh, taller and has a different cover. Uh, I think primarily, uh, not just for you know the the publishers to make money, but there's a lot of spelling grammatical errors, um, and that I think it might might have been primarily primarily to fix those. So um, I read this quite a few months ago. Uh, for the third time, so this is my third time reading this book, um, and you know I remember when this book came out, uh, like 20 years ago, uh, well 21 years ago now in 2003, just two years after the first game, Halo Combat Evolved was uh, released, uh, and this book is essentially just that game, um, though it's not exactly a carbon copy, uh, so. There are, um, when you're reading through it, it is kind of like going through the game again, but there's uh, a, really a lot of stuff that uh, William Dietz adds uh, to add more, I guess, information about what was going, what was going on and how things happened. Um, however, common critiques of this book are that the narrative is too close to the first game of the franchise, as if Dietz just, you know, played through the game and wrote down the game dialogue. And it's, I think, 
an understandable criticism. Um, Dietz, because Dietz, he does uh, stray from verbatim dialogue. Sometimes it's disappointing when he does this. Other times, I can understand why. Uh, in my opinion, if Dietz had completely left out all the game dialogue or just, or just like changed all of it, it would have been an entirely different story from the game and therefore even more frustrating. Something I did find annoying though is that Dietz constantly changed how he referred to John or the Master Chief. Sometimes it was know the master chief or just chief or the spartan the non-com uh the human and, and others so it's just way too many different names or things to call him just stick with one or two designators uh, most of the time you know the, the the kiss rule is best keep it simple stupid <laughs> um but the best asset about the book is that there, uh, kind of like what i was saying earlier there is some extra material you don't get from playing the game that help fill in the blanks where the gamer doesn't know what happened. For example, how the survivors of the crash-landed Pillar of Autumn managed to regroup in an organized fashion. Uh, how the Covenant captured Captain Keys after crash-landing the Autumn, that's in here. Um, and even deeper insights into the Parasitic Flood and other interesting uh, story beats. Sure, there is some redundancy for the gamer as they read the book, but again, without that key dialogue, it would just be a different story, which no Halo fan wants, right? right? We don't want the TV show in book format. <laughs> uh, but that's all from me for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Very short review, uh, very simple uh, book. I decided when I, uh, I had to repurchase this because I, I've lost a lot of my books through various moves, being in the army and so forth. Um, and I decided to repurchase the original uh, edition just because, I mean, for nostalgic purposes, um, and I'm just a sucker for the original. I mean, how often do you get to see the original Xbox symbol on anything anymore? Uh, so, yeah, maybe in the future I'll buy the most recent edition just to have it, uh, but I wanted to get the original for nostalgic purposes, despite the vast spelling and grammatical errors. But anyway... That's my review. That's all from now. Uh, if you have um, played the game and uh, would like some more background information into that first game, definitely read this book, um, but perhaps pick up the latest edition rather than this <laughs> copy to avoid those annoying errors. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please be sure to uh, like and subscribe. That will get more of this out there. And if you subscribe and click that bell, you'll be notified via email and the YouTube app on your phone when a new video is up. So in the meantime, God bless your reading.